Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were most they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share smart customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable, to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add a custom button on some specific products only on your Shopify store because I did make a video on how to add custom button and some people requesting or how to add this button only on some specific products that we want. That's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video and as always by using your own custom code and completely free. The only thing I'm asking you is hit that like button and leave me a comment. I would reply to you as well and I would appreciate that so it would motivate me to make more free things for you guys. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add small customizations, but a video like 70 or 60, the team would be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources and it's filterable. Or even better, check out this recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable, no applications involved whatsoever. You want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. So this is the mouse cursor, right? I would act just like I want to leave or try to close the page and this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and it's by the exit intent trigger. It detects when the user is trying to leave or close the page, then it does show up to remind them how many products he added. And yes, by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable and many many more things I cannot mention in one video otherwise it would be like one hour long because I made so many things just on this Shopify team in here so many things I added in videos that I cannot mention all so let's just access this product because I think I no, I cannot this one has so many stuff already as you can see all of these are, I did them in tutorials and all of them are free so we will do demonstration on another team, which is Horizon, the new one. And this trick is a custom code that will work on every Shopify team, no matter if it's paid one or, or uh, free one, just has to use Shopify uh, platform and it will work for you just fine. So let me close this team actually, and let me open up Horizon. So let's just click on preview and here is Horizon team. So we will access a product from here and do the trick. By the way, this uh, Instagram style circular correlation, I did that in video and completely free again. As you can see, it looks very professional. So let's just access, oh yeah, the shadow effect on cards. Come on, man. <laughs> I apologize, I will quit now. So let me access this product actually. Come on, open up. Come on, here it is, finally. And again, custom file upload field. I did that in tutorials <laughs> last time, last time. So we will add a custom button here and we will specify which product we want the button to show up on. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to get back to Shopify dashboard. We'll keep this page open and do the trick uh, on this specific product in here. And I will show you how to add them on other product if you want. So the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on customize button for the team you are using. Then it will take you to the call, to the team editor, sorry. And in here, we need to switch to the product page from here. Click on home page at the top of the page, click on it, then click on product and select the default template you are using for your product. And I'm using the default one. Uh, this one has so much stuff. Let me switch to a cleaner product. Maybe this one, yeah. So we will add the button in here below the buy it now button. To do that, simply, actually you can add it anywhere. In my case, I wanna add it here. The first thing you're going to do is head over template in here on the left of the panel, then click on product information and it will be expanded in here. And here simply select where you want to add it. This text right here is the last thing on the, on the product page. 
uh, simply select where you want to add it. In my case, I want to add it below the byte now. So I'm going to add block below the byte now. Simply hover over it then click on add block. Then it will show you this prompt and simply search for custom and you will show custom liquid this option right here. Then click on it and it will open up this prompt right here on the right of the screen this time where you can paste in some custom code. And where are you going to get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours, just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link. My website completely free again and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here. And as I said, it takes time to build stuff like this. I would appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. Then the next thing we're going to do is click on this button right here to copy the whole code and later I will get back in here and show you how to set a custom link for it. Obviously it has to have a link. So I will show you how to add a custom link. Then I will show you how to customize it. You want to change the color, change everything, change the hover color, everything text color, how to change them properly so you can suit your Shopify store. Then click on this button as I said. After you did copy it, then get back in here and simply paste it in the custom liquid. Cost paste it in here. Then zoom out and click on save button and of course nothing will show up because as I said we need to specify which product you want to add it on. And I don't want to add it on this one on this product. So I want to add it on this anchor bracelet as you can see. And even if I reload the page in here it will not show up as you can see. So how to specify which product to show the button on that's very easy. Simply get back in here and exit from the team editor, then simply search for the product that you want to add it on. In my case, I want to add it, as I said, to this one. So I'm going to type in uh, anchor and it should show up here. It is. Then after you navigate to the product that, where you want to show the button, simply hit over to tag section right here and click on it and simply type in three letters, B T N, B T N, just like this, B T N, that's very simple. Uh, then uh, enable it. Then it, it will show up right here as you can see. Then simply click on save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. It's saved. Now if we get back in here, reload the page, the button should show up because we added the tag to that specific product. Let's just reload the page. And here is the custom button. And as you can see, it's interactive and it shows the color, it switched the colors when it interacts. And also you can set a custom button custom link sorry for it and if you want to show this button on other product simply head over to that product and add the same tag and it will show up on that product as well that's very simple right now how to customize it that's very simple you see this one where it says your custom uh, your custom URL between the quotes this is exactly what you need to change so simply paste in in here paste in the code uh, the, sorry the URL where you want the users uh, to be directed after he clicks on it and below I added some comments where you can actually customize the code as you can see so this one is a comment so each one that says change is actually uncommon so change button text color this one is button text color this one is button background color this color right here and this one is button border color this one right here and the same for the others hover background color hover text color hover shadow color so just follow along every comment that says change it's actually things that you can change and you will be able to customize this button however you want and if you have any questions or any requests or anything that you have issues with this code just drop me a comment i will be happy to help you out but for now that's how you add your own custom code on some specific products that you want on your shopify store by using your own custom code and as i said if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one